Welcome back to another Modisoft back office video. My name is Jonathan, and today we're going to be going over on how to create labels for your shelves for items that have price changes or if you receive new items in your price book. So the great thing about this feature is that we do offer three different types of labels that you can print, whether they are going to be from your inkjet laser jet printers, from your brother Dymo printers, or even from electronic labels. So that will be a separate video, but for this video, we're going to go over strictly on doing the paper labels. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go up to the top left corner in your main menu, go to your products, and then go to the labels. So when you are in the label section, you'll see that you have three different steps that you're going to have to do. First, you have to search for your items, choose a label template, and then print out those labels. So we'll start off, of course, on searching for those items. And in order to do so, you will have to hit the filter icon that you see here. And then you can search items based off of many different types of filters, whether you want to go by your price groups, your categories, your payees, departments, etc. You have the capabilities to choose however you want to print those labels. Another great feature that we have as well is that if you don't want to use a filter and you have the items in front of you and you have a scanner hooked up to your computer, you can actually click here where it says scan multiple UPCs and then you can just scan those items that you want to print out. And then once you scan those items, just click add item to print and it will put it in the queue so you can print those labels for those items. So for this demo, we're just going to show it by doing the price groups. So we have a group of items. Let's pretend your Coca-Cola 20 ounces that the price has changed on these items. So you want to print out labels to reflect those changes. So when you select your group, hit find, and then your items in that group will pop up with their new prices that you changed them. So you can select all your items, hit add selected to label, and it will let you know that it has updated so that you can put those in the queue to print those labels. So once you have added those items to the queue, then you go to step two to choose your label template. Now, based off of whichever type of labels that you have at your store, whether you're using an inkjet or laser brother printer or our legacy Dymo equipment, you can choose which format that you want these labels to be printed. So for demo purposes, we are going to be using the Avery print labels. Now, we do have a couple templates here, as you can see, under the My Label templates that are standard on every account that you get at Modisoft. So if you do happen to have any of these label styles, then you can actually print these out. Now, if you would like to customize your own labels, you can do so only in the Inkjet and Laser tab. The Brother and Dymo tabs all have their own separate customized styles already. So for example, Brother, if you have a Brother printer, you will see that we already have some styles that are pre-selected and already done, so you cannot customize these templates at all. So based on the size label that you have, if you have the smaller labels or the larger labels, you can choose from some pre-selected templates that we have here. If you would like to print out or create your own customized labels, you'll see here in the middle section that you have the ability to choose based off of the three different templates that we have, you can customize however you would like. So you'll create the name of your label and then you will add placeholders as different properties here in your label format. So if you wanted to have description, price, you know, item codes, etc., you are able to put those anywhere here on your label, how you want it to be set and seen by your customers. 
So once you've put it exactly how you want to see it, then you can further customize it by going into the properties and you can choose if you want it to show as bold, you know, what font family do you want it to be, whether you want it the default, you know, these are the formats that we offer. What's the size? If you want it to be aligned based off of, you know, the box that you have here, center, right, left, or justified. And you can even do color. So if you have a color printer, you can colorize even your values here. And then once you are comfortable with what you are going to be printing, if you feel this is your format that you want, you can just hit save. And then it will save this here on your templates on the left hand side. So it'll reload the page and then you'll see down here that your test label has been created based off of the properties you added. So you can either do it that way, create your own labels, or if you want to use any of our labels, go ahead and check mark that label. Now, once you have selected that label type that you are going to be printing, then you can go to step number three so that you can print out those items that you just put in the queue from step number one. So once you have added these to the queue, these will print based off of the paper that you have selected. So if you put the wrong paper type in there, it will not print correctly on those labels. So you have to make sure that you select the right label type, whether it's Avery, Uline, etc. Now you'll notice here there is a skip labels and a label quantity. Now let's say you've already printed out this on your Avery uh, format paper, then you've already got four uh, labels that have been removed from that paper. So if you want to start on number five, then you're going to have to skip labels one through four because you've already printed and you've already taken out those labels from those first four uh, stickers. So once you hit skip labels, if you put four, then it will start printing your next labels on number five. So for example, let's go ahead and show you what it would look like if you were to skip labels and print it out. So once you print out these labels, it's going to pop up as a PDF file. And you will notice that one, two, three, and four have been skipped. And it's starting your new labels on number five. So whenever you put that paper inside your printer, it will print starting on that latest label that can be printed on. Because if you forget to put skip label number four here, then it's going to print on top of a, an empty label spot. So it's just going to print on that plasticky part that's on the label paper. So you want to make sure that you remember to always put the proper skip labels based off of your paper. So once you do that, you can just hit here, print, and then just print it directly to your paper. And it's just that easy. Now, if you ever run out of paper and you want to order more supplies, we do have an option here in the top right corner where you can order labels based off of the order label types that you need, whether you need Dymo label, Avery labels, Uline labels, LexJet or Brother label printers. So if you need any of these papers, you can order it from here, but you do not have to. You can order it from anywhere that you feel maybe you get a better deal on, whether it's Amazon or wherever. As long as it's compatible with our hardware, then you are able to use that paper. We hope that you found this guide useful in better understanding your Modisoft back office. Please like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so that you will always be up to date on your Modisoft back office. Thank you and have a wonderful day.